I love growing up in Arizona. We have the best sunsets. They're full of orange and yellows. It's really pretty. Arizona's home, it's family. We think it's beautiful and wonderful. It's just an all around great place to live. My story starts in Arizona. I was given a 13% chance of living to the age of five. And I beat it by 20 years. I was born with a congenital heart defect. They actually had another family lined up to adopt me. Um, but when the other family found out that I was really sick and going to need future surgeries and was most likely not going to live past the age of five, they backed out of the adoption. The Athertons was kind of like their respite family. And so the Athertons said, well, we, we already love her, so we'll keep her. And that's, that's how I came to the Atherton household. My birth father was killed in some sort of skirmish slash war. And so my mother gave me to my grandmother who was living in a one bedroom flat with a whole lot of other kids. And she thought the best option for me was to be put in an orphanage that adopted out to Americans. And so my mom and dad found me and adopted me. I am from India and I was found on the side of the road. And so they took me to an orphanage and a doctor found out that I had a murmur. And so I was sent over to Arizona to get my heart problem fixed. And the family that hosted me decided to keep me. And if it wasn't for my parents, I probably wouldn't be alive. When we first got married, we decided to build our family and do it through adoptions. One thing led to another and we ended up with 14 kids after all was said and done. It started over 40 years ago with Joe and Josh. They were brothers. They were five and a half and three and a half. We come from all over the world. We have about like six or seven from different countries. We had guardianship of Abby from Ethiopia, Dana's from India, Reagan and Jay are from Korea, Misty's from Haiti, and several were born in Phoenix. I was born here in Phoenix. I was adopted at three months old. I was in foster care for that little stint of time and then just Welcome to the family. My parents have adopted people who have multiple health issues. Seven out of the 14 have been hospitalized. Six of our children were born with heart defects. Several of them have had asthma. One has diabetes. One developed lupus. Our baby Linda died when she was only eight weeks old. Becca has had several surgeries. She takes 50 pills a day. She sleeps with oxygen at night. She really needs a heart-lung transplant, but four facilities have turned her down. My sister, Cammie, she was born at not quite 26 weeks. I was one pound, 13 ounces. The first time we met Cammie, she was in the hospital, and one of the nurses said, do you want to hold her? Now, Cammie was our last child, so we held a lot of babies. But we looked at how tiny she was, and we said, no, we don't want to hold her. We're afraid she's going to break, you know? And the nurse said, it's OK, you're going to be fine, and gave us this tiny, tiny little baby, because we never held one that small. There's a saying that blood is thicker than water, but I'm adopted, and so none of these people are, are blood related to me, but they are my family, and I would do anything for them, and I know that they would do anything for me. My parents are the most giving, kindest, gentlest people. Like, they have moved hell and high water to uh, take care of us. People will say, well, do you really want to go and find your real parents? And I'm always so amazed somebody would even say that, because my parents are my real parents. They are the ones who raise me, they're the ones who love me, they support me, they are my rock. Sometimes there's like so many people around. We are kind of chaotic sometimes and kind of crazy. Pizza's here! Pizza's here! <laughs> We get together mostly on holidays. People pop in and out, have dinner, and then leave. Daily, there's about seven, but it always comes and goes with siblings stopping by. We have nieces, nephews. And there's grandchildren and another grandchild on the way. The most we've had at one time was probably 10 kids. There's always someone you can turn to. There's always someone watching what you're doing. There's just always people here. At one Christmas, we had actually a homeless family living with us. We always made an effort to have family dinner every night. On Friday nights, we do pizza night. We turn off the TV and we all sit down and have a meal together and talk. Our family room and kitchen is where we're all together, so it's a very special place. My parents give constantly, um, and it's and it's in a way where they don't get the attention or recognition because they don't want it. And we're like, all right, so how 
do we show them that we appreciate them? And how do we show them that, hey, we see what you're doing and we recognize it and we're amazed by you. Um, so we we thought maybe we'll redo the the family room area because that's where we all hang out the most. Um, and that way, you know, they can walk in and be like, yeah, they did this for us. So every day they're gonna walk in and be reminded of how grateful we are. The problem with the family room now is the color has been up for a long time, so it kind of dates it. There's a lot of stuff on the shelves and the countertops and things are stacked in front of each other. It doesn't have much design to it, so it'd be nice to be able to have places for each of these items that need to be displayed. The leather, there's a lot of leather and it doesn't make it as cozy of a family room. The rug itself is pretty old and it's not as soft as it used to be. The kids and I, we've all been able to chat and decide on things and kind of funny because we realize we don't all have the same thoughts. So we went onto the House app and found Jenny and looked through her profile and her designs and we thought she'd be a really good fit. Our goals for this room is to make something that is family friendly for all all ages. I just want to make sure that this is a home that they can live in, that is not only beautiful and aesthetically pleasing, but something that they can really be comfortable in. It's really important to keep the family heirlooms and the photos, but bring them together in a more cohesive way. I have display cases, bookcases, where they're still on display, the family can still see them, it's still warm and inviting. I just want it to be a little bit more cohesive. A lot of the pieces in the home are very horizontal. So in the entertainment center, I wanted to bring out the built-in, put in a console, have the TV above it, and then add a couple of nice hutches on the side so that we can display things, but it also brings height to the room. I'm hoping that it'll stay comfy and cozy and really keep a warm feeling that my parents have worked so hard to bring to this family. It really means a lot to do this for my parents. My mom has always talked about redoing the house, but with everything going on with the kids and school and appointments, it would have been put on the back burner. So I'm really happy that all the kids came together and we were able to create a fabulous place for her. It's always been comfortable, but with Jenny's help, I'm really excited to use this space. So I've been doing a lot of shopping on house. Let's look at some sofas. So let's see what we can find. I like that Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Let's see if that one comes in any other colors. Ooh, the light brown. Light brown. brown. Nice. I like the light brown. I really like that. Let's buy it. Okay. Yay, new couch. Beck, I want to show you what I'm thinking about for this wall. I found this beautiful hutch in the house shop. Okay. It has glass fronts. I think it will be able to display all your parents' beautiful things they've collected over the years. And I want to show you using the 3D feature what it's going to look like in the space. Okay. Click here, oh, wow. and there it is. It looks really nice, but it looks kind of big. Is it going to get in the way of the walkway? Not at all. In fact, let me show you. It's not too deep. Oh, wow. It has a nice profile, it has metal on the back, the glass fronts will be able to display your mom's items. I think it's gonna be perfect if we do two against that wall and then maybe one of your dad's photography pieces in between the two. Oh yeah, he would love that. Should we get it? We should totally buy it. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna add it to our cart and we're done. All of a sudden, the stuff has arrived on our doorstep and it looks wonderful. I hope that the new space brings our family closer together. It's been really fun. My mom and dad are gone for a long weekend getaway. They know that we have something planned for them while they're gone, but I don't think they know that we're gonna completely redo this space for them. I think we're good. Great. When are your parents getting home? Could be a few hours, but knowing how my dad drives could be like right now. <laughs> okay, let's get ready for him. Let's do it. Okay, keep going. There you go. Go further. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Open your eyes. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. I didn't know what to expect. When we came in, I was amazed at the furniture and how good it looked. It feels warm to me. It feels welcoming. It doesn't feel formal, and I love how that looks. I just love it. 
We wanted to have the two bookcases on both sides of the television so that you can still see the things that they've collected on trips, family heirlooms, the things that are special to the family still have a big presence in the room and the focus isn't just on the television. Oh my gosh, Bob, your picture! Oh, my picture! Oh my gosh! I mean, it's so cool that it's there, you know? He was so excited to see that there. I went to Oregon and took pictures of the Eclipse, and so that was the main thing that I wanted to see hung out. I love the carpet, too. The yes. carpet is great. Yeah. It's got a great pattern, it's got great colors, and I do think it's not going to show a whole lot of things that we're going to get on it for sure. I love the rug because it brings in color, but it's also really durable. It's made from 100% recycled bottles, and it's also stain resistant. Have a seat. I love the couches. I think the couches look great. Before, the family had a lot of leather in here. It's easy to clean. I wanted to keep a leather piece, but I also wanted to bring in some upholstered pieces. It brings warmth and texture into this space. So we wanted to make sure we were using performance grade fabric so that even though the kids spill, they can just wipe it up and it's not going to be a problem. So far, they've survived the cat, so that's good. I think it's really comfortable. I think it's super soft. It's closer together, more intimate, so you can carry on a conversation with each other. Before Between the Couches was just a large, empty space. By bringing these two tables in, it allows them to be able to bring those together and create a larger table that they can sit around. So they look nice, but they're also super functional for the family. We wanted to bring in some end tables, which the room didn't have before. It allows us to have some task lighting. It just gives like a little landing space and helps bring the space in and make it a little cozier. Did you see the pictures that are hanging? There was a gallery wall, but it was just sort of a mix of photos, different sizes, different frames, and it wasn't very cohesive. I really wanted to bring that together, make it more simple, clean lines, so that everyone could really be a focus on the wall. It's nice to see some of the family's pictures, some of the wedding pictures. Everybody chose their own pictures. So that's pretty exciting too. The kids area is fantastic. I love the rolling shelves that have baskets in it to store toys. It is fabulous. It looks wonderful. We can wheel it out if we need to. We found a beautiful piece on house that holds all his toys and it just creates a nice place for him to easily access his toys but then easily put them away. I'll play. I do. I do. I do. It feels amazing to do this for my mom and my dad. They do so much dad, for so many people. I just can't say enough about how much I appreciate what they have done. You get kind of blown away when someone else comes in and knows what they're doing and arranges things and makes the colors all work together. And it, the design does make a difference. Home is your safe place. Home is where love lives. Um, and home is where you're always welcome. It feels welcome. It feels warm. And that's what I want. I want a warm, welcoming place for everybody who walks through that front door.